as popularly said the show must go on we should also not let our studies stop the process of teaching and learning must still continue even during this lockdown period and hence here i netina shukla a teacher from national kannada education society group of institutions presents you with a small initiative to help our future generation to fight the battle without losing on on their studies with my educational channel mathematics at your fingertip to help all my dear students to study from their home safe and secure in this lesson we will be seeing the second part of exercise 1.2 the first part you have seen how to plot a point in the graph today we will learn how to make table from the linear equation and in the next part which will be coming i will tell you how to solve the simultaneous linear equation using the graphical method so again linear equation in two variables two variables are there x and y and you are supposed to solve this linear equation to make the table to draw the points on the graph so today's topic is very interesting you will enjoy it it is exercise 1.2 part 2 where you will be learning how to make table from of coordinate points and how to draw line from the table of coordinates now this is what we have learned in the first part i'll revise it because you will be wondering what it was you can always go to my channel and see it once again now in short i'll explain you once again and that is suppose this is the point which says 3 2 right it says 3 2 so your x coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is 2 right this specifically is written wrong so that you will always keep in mind that this is not 2 3 this is 3 2 you remember ordered pair i have taught you ordered pair is very important to understand this is a common mistake which always happens now first if you want to see what is this point you will go to origin first from there go to units here the moment you go to units here so your x coordinate is 2 and if you go 3 units up you are coming here and the point here is 2 3 and here if you come this is 3 2 so these two are flipped the coordinates are flipped why this is being shown in the beginning of the lesson is this is a common mistake which occurs in drawing the graph and you don't get the proper line so i want to repeat it once again if you want to plot the point 3 2 so first go to origin go three points to the horizontal line which is x then two go up so here the point is here the point is 3 comma 2 order the pair if you want to talk about this point you are supposed to write go to origin go two points here in the horizontal direction first then go three points up you come to this point and this point is 2 comma 3 order the pair now so you have understood this very clearly i hope next we will go to the next slide and it says that this one complete the table for drawing the graph of equation x plus y is equal to 3 this is a common question it comes in examination for two marks it can be taken as activity question also which comes in 3b now here very important is activity question you are supposed to solve this activity how to solve this what is expected you put x is equal to 3 why because it is given x is equal to 3 put x is equal to 3 in the equation x plus y is equal to 
once you put x is equal to 3 here the equation becomes 3 plus y is equal to 3 why 3 plus y is equal to 3 because the equation was x plus y is equal to 3 and you are asked to put x is equal to 3 here so the equation becomes 3 plus y is equal to 3 take this 3 to the other side you get y on the left hand side y is equal to 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0 so the ordered pair here becomes 3 comma 0 next here in the question it is given y is equal to 5 y is equal to 5 when y is equal to 5 we put or substitute y is equal to 5 in equation which equation the equation is given here x plus y is equal to 3 so you will write x plus 5 y 5 because y is 5 x plus 5 is equal to 3 take this 5 to this side so you get x is equal to this goes to this side it becomes minus plus 3 minus 5 as i told you different signs one is plus other one is minus different signs always subtract in integers you should always remember when you get different signs you should subtract when you get different point you subtract and put the sign of the bigger value so this becomes minus 5 5 minus 3 is 2 minus 5 sign of minus comes over here so x is equal to minus 2 third is also given to you again y is given as 3 so again you get x plus 3 is equal to 3 again you will get x is equal to 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 but if you are very smart you will observe this x plus y is equal to 3 similarly x plus 3 is equal to 3 similar question so immediately the moment you see this maths teaches you how you should be alert so the moment you see this immediately similar equation here the answer should strike you that this is 0 is it clear this is in the case you are having two marks question this is what is expected from you you are supposed to write this answer solve it write this answer make the table once again this table if you don't make it is okay you are supposed to write the answer question then you are supposed to write the solution here but making of this table very important for examination point of view to get proper marks but if the same question comes to you to draw the graph then what you should do this is very important note this that is why i've shown you note it right you should try to put the equation in the form y is equal to minus x plus 3 now see the miracle why because here the transferring was taking one step extra but if you put it in this manner and just see here take the values of x as 0 1 minus 1 the moment you take this equation y is equal to minus x plus 3 take x as 0 the moment you put it as 0 see with my mouse the x is hidden now you see that y is equal to 3 so no need to solve you are directly writing here this is 3 done now if i put x is equal to 1 i put here x is equal to 1 this becomes minus 1 plus 3 different sign subtract put the sign of bigger number right mathematics goes with simple tricks simple simple sentences if you remember you are going to get very good marks and maths becomes very easy very interesting what is the sentence which you should remember here different signs subtract put the sign of bigger number now i take it as minus one why i am taking zero one minus one because calculation is very easy here done so the moment i take it here as minus one this will become minus of minus will become plus one plus three both are same sign add put the sign of the bigger number so you get the ordered pair this you should note 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 this what this is what you should do when you are drawing the graph be smart take y to other 
keep y on one side take x to the other side it is very easy for you to understand solve and get the results if you put the equation in this form this is called slope intercept form which you will study in 11th standard but right now remember to put the equation in the form y is equal to x plus c next second question again from your textbook i will not give you the numbers where it is coming you have to search the textbook and see it where it is coming from now equation given to you is x minus y is equal to 4 again two marks question as it is activity based question you are supposed to write this equation go on substituting the values as shown here i'll explain this in detail also and then the answer is going to come now why first one x you have to find when y is 0 so here y is 0 so if you understand this it is very easy to see the moment you put y is 0 x looks equal to 4 directly so x minus 0 is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 certain times it is very easy to do the oral calculations I appreciate most of my students who do the oral calculations now this is minus x so you will put minus 1 minus y is equal to 4 this goes to the other side you get minus y is equal to 5 so y is equal to minus 5 so here the point is x is 4 comma 0 here the point is 1, minus 1 comma 5 and this one is given as 0 minus 4 is it absolutely clear no need to solve this you get this equation is to be written in the form of this box very very important and as i told you this is something you should remember note it down if table is to be made very good this is the method but if you are supposed to draw the line always put the equation in this form y is equal to x minus 4 now the things become more easy you write x is equal to 0 the moment you put it here 0 directly you can see y is equal to minus 4 no need to calculate directly minus 4 0 minus 4 done then next this is equal to 1 so if i put here 1 1 minus 4 different sign i will subtract so 4 minus 1 is 3 put the sign of bigger number minus 3 minus 1 put it over here directly orally minus 1 minus 4 it becomes minus 5 because same sign you should add put the sign of bigger number only done so this is something which you should remember if you are drawing the line if you are completing the table you have to substitute each value as given in the table next draw the graph of equation y is equal to 2x plus 3 right what you will do done you will first try to get the equation and go on substituting the value this is not there in your textbook but i want you to solve some extra question so that if question comes from outside not in the textbook you should be able to solve i will be giving you this as your assignment question you are supposed to solve this in the notebook again now just see i am trying to put the value of x as 0 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 and 3 if you saw a little more in the beginning you get more acquainted with the method resulting in drawing the graph with more ease now here the pointer says that means something is going to come over here what is going to come over here yes your graph is going to come over here you know how to plot the points if this is x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 y is equal to 3 so it is 0 you are not moving in horizontal direction y is 3 1 2 3 just make a cross then go to the next one x is equal to 1 
x is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, I got y is equal to 5. So x is 1, first come to 0, go 1 point over here for x, then y is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ultimately, you reach here and the point is 1, 5. Similarly, you go on substituting the values, right? And you get the points. Once you get the point here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 points are given. I don't expect you to solve 6 points. The board is expecting you to solve 3. I expect you to solve 4 because in that case, if you make one mistake with 3 points, you are in dilemma. But if you take 1, 2, 3, 4 points, it is always easy for you because if one point is also wrong, but three points will be correct, you will come to know, oh, this is the line. Right? This extra we have done only for, this extra we have done only for solving and getting practice. Extra numbers we have taken. Right? The point can be plotted on set of axes and the straight line drawn to through them. For more practice, again there is one more question given to you. y is equal to 2x minus 2. What is expected from you is here value of x is given to you. Every time go on putting value of x over here. For example here, this is minus 2. If you put here minus 2, 2 into minus 2 is going to become minus 4. Minus 4, minus 2, so the answer is minus 6. Learn how to do it orally so that in examination your time is saved. Now, if I take it as minus 1, this is minus 2, minus 2, it becomes minus 4. So here minus 4. If I take it as 0, so this term goes, direct answer y is equal to minus 2. Take this as 1, this is 2 ones are 2, 2 minus 2 that is 0 so here it is 0 put the value as 3 3 twos are 6 6 minus 2 second standard student will tell 6 minus 2 is 4 5 5 twos are 10 10 minus 2 it is 8 so here ultimately if you learn how to do it orally your work will be very easy draw the graph y is equal to 2x minus 2 right this is the activity you are supposed to do. Again, there are so many questions given to you where I expect you to solve this equation, make the table and draw the graph. So your activity is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 equation plus this is one equation. Total 7 equations. Draw the table. Draw the graph. One graph per graph paper so that you are able to draw the graph of linear equation without any problem. Remember student, this question comes for 4 marks. Out of 40 marks paper, 4 marks is 10% marks. Good question. Very important examination point of view question. Again, the graphs are to be made. Coordinate is given to you. You are supposed to. You have to first draw x-axis, y-axis, make a table, go on substituting, get the results, make the tables again and again. You don't have to use n number of graph. Go on making tables like this. Go on making line in the same graph paper. Your work will be very easy. I expect you to take the screenshot of this or write it down, pause the video, write it down so that you are very sure with this type of equations how to draw single line our target in this second video of exercise 1.2 is we will learn how to make the table and how to draw a graph the next video will tell you how to make solve the simultaneous equation using this but learn the basics be strong with your basics so that work becomes easy Thank you students. Do like, share and subscribe for more such videos.